Okay, I want to show you what's supposed to be happening with, with the normals. So I've set it up only on this box here. So let me so let me change the angle of this box. And you can see, and I'm in normal visualization right now. And you can see that as normal is changing. Now you can see on this top box, it's not changing. And because I've, I've not set my update to there because I want you to be able to visualize what's going on. So previously, the normals were just stuck to the objects. We weren't updating the normals at all in, in our shader. And what we really want is for our normals to point in the right direction. So we need to apply some matrix to them. So the upwards facing normal is green in this visualization. So you can see when we lean over, we're green. But when we come back into the upright position in the middle, our normal is the same as this wall, right? It's facing this way. So the color is the same as this wall, it's the same as this cube. And because I'm not updating the others, this isn't changing. So since the normal is used in the lighting, if we're not updating the normal, then we would expect to get funny things ha happening in, in our lighting. So let me just change my angle a little bit so you can see what's going on here. I'll turn my animation back on for, for this guy. So we can see that the normal is updating as we go. Now, how did I accomplish this? So um, the most important thing you can do is you can look in the book on page uh, two, three, sorry, 311, where they talk about the inverse transpose matrix and they give an example of getting this into your code. But let me just give you a, a quick tour of the places I had to make some changes. So I had to add a normal matrix uh, in, into my code. And then I had to multiply my normal times this normal matrix. So here's the normal I passed in. I multiply it times the normal matrix, not the model matrix, right? There's a different matrix that we have to use for normals. And a little bit of casting around of the types. And don't forget to normalize the normal at the end. So this is all I had to do in the shader. And then in my actual code, of course, I had to go get that all hooked up. And I think you know how to hook up uniforms by now. Um, let me show you where I actually used it. So I've added to my cube class. Um, in addition to matrix, I now have a normal matrix. They both just start out as identity. And then in my rendering, um, where is the yellow one? Yeah, okay, here's my yellow one. So then my normal matrix, I'm going to go set it to the inverse of the, the model view matrix and then transpose. So this, this notation, I've stuck it in one line. But remember that your matrix returns itself. So after you set the inverse of and, and get that set in your normal matrix, it returns itself. So then I can just string the transpose into the same line. Uh, and that's all you have to do. So you could put it in different places. Don't forget to do it for each object which is moving around or has been uh, transformed in, in some way.